Mind testing. So you're stocking up the B-free bar? Yeah. Yes, yes. I think it lasts for at least one and a half year. So here <laughs> is... No, this should be for a night or two. For a night or two. But here, okay, that's for the second night. Even more. All right. This week is also a good combination of social activities and work. B3 is used as a running boy in a dinghy race, and I'm finishing up the wirings after being done with the mechanical stuff. Finally, I can try to start the generator for the first time after the rebuild. Picking up the thread, or should I say the cables, from where I left you last week, after I was done with most of the mechanical work on my generator. I'm gonna replace the fried connectors that I had to improvise with when being in Panama. We have power! We have power! And I succeeded with this challenge with limited resources. And the circuit board actually still works today, but still wanted to replace it. You're a magician! Wow! Well done! Safely cross the Atlantic now! Hold on a second, what was she saying? Safely cross the Atlantic now! Yeah. I was working hard day and night back then to have this important machine running. What are you doing, Thomas? What? <laughs> oh, I'm struggling with this generator. But it's so tight down here. It's so much fun, eh? Having a sailboat. Mm. Back then, I was facing the risk of sailing close to 6,000 nautical miles non-stop from Panama back home to Norway. But as you know, I'm still in the Caribbean, and getting parts the last two years have been a challenge. So getting from this to how it looks now before starting on the cables is just magical, as well thanks to Carib Marine. And how it looked like is definitely not something I'm proud of. However, I always want to give you the true story. Most likely there have been oil spill from checking the oil, dripping down into delicate connectors that was unprotected. So I would say it's a great upgrade with the newer models here. The housing for fine electronics now have a closed top, protecting not only the connectors but also the control board. And I'm in good hands here, getting the advices and assistance for everything I need. Earlier I showed the professional approach to rigging here at Carib in Martinique. But I also have certified maritime electricians as well, which I can promise you in general is hard to find in the Caribbean. So I have pretty high hopes for succeeding with what's left on this project now, borrowing tools and place for fixing this. Guess it's the bonus of being part of the family after spending more than a year in total with these amazing friends without speaking French. This probably looks more complicated than it is. Even though some of the cables here have the same color, they are going to different places on the connector. So I'm just going slow here, soldering one cable at a time, making sure I have the right one for the correct position. And of course heat shrinking isolation to avoid corrosion and protect cables connections from each other. After I was done soldering the multi-pin connectors, I started gathering the loose ends here, fixing the rest of the cables to the designated location. I have labeled the cables with numbers so that I could manage to get them back in place. And of course also made lots of photos to guide me if I needed to verify that I'm doing things correctly. And Basse is also keeping a sharp eye on my work. Done for today, hoping I got it all sorted out here. Also hoping I soon will have my generator start running again. I managed pretty okay here in the sunny part of the world with my solar panels. However, it's not always sunshine and B3 is a big boat with lots of electronics and power consuming amenities on board. Not to forget all the toys making these videos for you guys. So if there is a few days of no sunshine, I'm quickly running low on power. But main need is for my water maker. In true Caribbean, or should I say sailor style, I met some old friends after being at the recycle station. So suddenly we were sharing a beer in the stairs here, catching up. To top it up even more, they told me they had some bottles of wine they wanted to give away before sailing south. 
I met Anja and Raf first time in Granada, waiting for a hurricane to pass. Okay, next one, the ladies' version. <laughs> Small but beautiful. And I have met these beautiful people several places ever after. Now they are anchored Hello. behind me for a few days. <laughs> so you're stocking up the B3 bar? Yes. yes, yes. I think it lasts for at least one and a half year. So here is. <laughs> No, this should be for a night or two. For a night or two, but here, okay, that's for the second night. Even more! Alright! Yeah. Alright! My god! And there comes another one! Oh my god! Oh, this is for the third night! <laughs> okay, so I should last for a week now. <laughs> it's really funny, look at, look at the bag. Yes. Oh. From Gran Canaria. oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's glass. The, it's, glass there in Gran Canaria. it's imported stuff. <laughs> really? So it says at least 3,000 miles. Yeah. I won't get any problems with the customs. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Who the fuck is custom? <laughs> you know, in Norway we cannot uh, import this much without having trouble with the customs. Okay. No, we are in transit. This is why we get no trouble. So, That's uh, why we are sailors. No, no customs, no transit. We just Even if it. I clear in, they ask me how many bottles you have, I see three or five <laughs> per night. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or you should say three or four, and then say, oh, not uh, more. Well, yeah. bags. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right. See you later. See you. See you in the Pacific. Yes. <laughs> With new bottles of wine. <laughs> oh, they might be gone within that Sometimes time, but I bring we some more. Need to stop. <laughs> See you later! What we ever said I'm grateful about everything Because we have been working hard That from the very start I knew we get this far But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late We've come along the way So we deserve it, mate Call it a day and celebrate Today is a big day, and one important thing to do before the test run is to fill up with oil. Oh, it's tracked. I don't think I should have taught them that first. Looking good. I'm done. Now just gonna hook up the system and start it and see how it runs. So it's gonna be super interesting to see if I succeeded with this. <laughs> so yeah, let's find out. Then it's comforting to have the expertise from Manu here. Those of you that have been watching my videos for a while might remember him from when I had the spready lights installed. So I knew I was in good hands here now. The fuel pump going. Yeah. 
It works! <laughs> What a journey this have been, and I would never come this far without the amazing help from Carib Marine. No wonder Gaetan gave me his thumb up hearing the sound of a diesel engine. After all, this solution of using the donor generator was Gaetan's brainchild. The evening we had a few beers together. Just looking for the rigging part, that right, right behind this. I can see it. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Of course, with the blessing from Philip, the big boss himself. Going back home to prepare for tomorrow, as the Jenny is coming back on board. And have a quick shower before picking up Kylie on Wonderful. Both of us have been super busy lately, so it's nice to catch up with a nice dinner together. This is one of our last dinners for a while, as she will sail a different route than me towards Panama. <laughs> I ordered the, the trio of calamari, um, prawns, salmon and sunshine vegetables. So. Enjoying our night out together with great food and drinks. I told Kylie she should not wait for me as she should see more islands before Panama. So she might be sailing ahead of me next week. After an intense week it's time to get this baby back on board be free. Obviously things takes time when you're an amateur, also trying to make some videos during the progress slows me down. Now the real challenge starts getting this into my dinghy for transport out to the anchorage. But with extra hands from my amazing friends here, this went easier than expected. Making sure my system for hoisting the generator back on board is in perfect position and safely secured. I really don't want any accidents here now. And Basse is still paying close attention to what's going on, while Tarje is helping me to get it safely back on board be free again. With these casters and ropes working like this, you can now even hoist this by hand. <laughs> Nothing really beats Tarje's laughter when he makes fun of my YouTuber lifestyle when I try to record things like this. Before reinstalling my Jenny in the basement under the garage, I have some upgrades I will share with you next week when it's done. But now it's time to celebrate and enjoy the fact there is no longer any curfew on this island. But it's the best kebab in the Caribbean. Uh, thank you. Maybe in the world. I don't know. I know there's, there's much more better. But in the Caribbean it's the best. Can I be here? Yeah, I can uh, raise it all. Because you make this yourself. Yes, please. Me and, me and my wife. So we can make it together. Everyone likes it. It's nice to support this sweet family, and their different kebab variations is so good. I'm pretty sure this is the best kebab you can get in the entire Caribbean. Ending this week meeting the rest of my friends later out for some drinks, now as the curfew is ended after two years. Next week Martinique is finally lifting rest of its mandates as well, so I believe it's lots of good reasons for celebrating. Then I guess it's not much more to say than uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and if you haven't already I would be really happy to see you subscribe to my channel. And also if you have any comments just uh, put them in below. I read everyone and I try to respond as quick as possible. So yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, take care, all the best, cheers!